We have favourites tonight, Paddy Cattle, who played with Limerick, won All-Ireland hurling medals, National League, Railway Cup, and played with great hurlers such as Mick Mackey, Jackie Power, Paddy Clahassey, and played against Jack Lynch, Jack Barrett, and Jim Langton. Paddy, you're very welcome. And when did when did uh, when did all your this hurling start, and with who? Oh, back in 1926, it's a minor, what and then um, Loner, <coughs> and um, 1931, then in the final of the Intermediate County Championship in Cork with Ballyhea. And uh, who were who were some of the the players that played with Effin at that stage? Was there any, did any of them ever play after for Limerick or become well known? Um, Paddy Ryan did. Paddy Ryan. He'd be named or father than animal. He he played and um it was no one I think. And you moved uh, you moved Brother Wayne who was was playing as well at the same time. Yeah. John. You moved on from Effin to to play with with Bally here in the in the Cork Intermediate Championship and he had a success there, I think in thirty one. Thirty one and then we got nowhere then after that, because uh, if and, and our party can amalgamate it in and we can get anywhere either, and I played them as well. Um, and then came on to <coughs> 35. You played with, uh, you played with Limerick Jonas, won in All Ireland in 35 with Limerick. Who were uh, some of the players in that team? We were the two Sullivan's of Milton, one of them is Mancino to Fatano and uh, Jim, they did that last year. Sullivan. That's right, yeah. you know, Martin Butler, he was his skinny man actually, and he was in Harvard Nasbill at the time, a hackney man. Uh, Morris Paul of Old Palace, uh, Jimmy Carty, Fiena, three McCarty bro brothers, three brothers McCarty, Paddy, Taig, and Jim. I was full back in the team, the Jonah team. Who did he beat? Who did he beat in the All Ireland final, Paddy? Yeah, Ian Kilmalik was in it. Forward Palace. Oh, we <coughs> in the in the Arlene Fernan. Uh, we went. Um, we were in London. In London, that was one. The London Irish against the London Irish. And uh, that was 1935, September. But we 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 needed to kill Kenny below in Watford. In the final, the home final. Yeah. We didn't even score. No score. No score. It was the Sunday after the, the Whit Sunday in, in Crog Park, because they were after Baton Limerick. Right. And there was a moment to all his kidneys at the same time, I remember his weight. We were going out, it was the dender. <laughs> so uh, we were walking around after this band anyway, it didn't rain in today, it didn't wait today, and we had all this was going on, we could hear it. Because yeah. it was a right anyway, that the big fellow coming in full fat, he was the brother of Terry Lahey, that was playing oh, the yeah. field with, with, with Kilkenny. A big hot of a man. And I remember, well, Jimmy Captain came over to me. What was going to do with him? Jim says, hey, he's all right. He says, Jim, don't you see him with a bandage one knee? He'll come down and say, the first room will go for a ball. And he did. He did go off. <laughs> so, as far as I remember anyway, we'd give him a score. They got a goal all right. And the boys couldn't see the ball. And with the result was I sat all right, but if no one in, and and taking the captain, if he and taking the captain over the gym, he scooped it out, and the flag we got some didn't see it at all. The flag should have been up for a goal, but we were not winning. Wasn't there something about about that team, Paddy, that went to selected first? That there was a there was some stories about it. That's right. Cannon Punch was the chairman of the board of the team. I thought as I remember, he was talking to me anyway, and. Um, there was a team selected in South Limerick, and uh, there was nobody from the South in it, South Limerick in it. Not even a sub. So Willie Hannon talked to him and said before he left the meeting, he was a selector, before he left the meeting, that he'd pick a team in the South that would be at that team. So they did, they said that they would agree to it. So we went into Limerick, and we played him in South Limerick, and they didn't even raise a white flag, the, the donor team they had picked. Oh, yeah. There were nine from the south at afterwards. Nine out of the south. And, uh, we walked through 
we played um, keep above and marry the first one out with really. it. I was at Cork. It doesn't matter, we played no other keep above and Cork. And in Mallet was played. That was the start of it. You see, train had Paddy no. for those matches. No matches. Yeah, there was no training at all done. Like only what we do at home, what we do ourselves. So we went, we went through it and even we went out to Catford in London. We played the final of all Ireland against the London Irish. There were shadows, there were nearly all Irish fellas. That one, there was one fellow corner for him, he was a terribly dangerous man. Big 84 this season, yeah. In fact, I have, uh, I think I have, um, I had it in here, but I didn't have it, no, I not. I can't throw that um, program on the same day. 1935, yes, September, October, it was played. And the following year, then, uh, you, 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 did you win a league medal that year, in 35? 35, 6, I did. You, so you got, you, yeah, so you got on the senior team after that, all Ireland Junior final. I played the senior team, then shortly after that. Yeah, you might tell us a bit about that 35 June, uh, 35 senior team, 35 senior team now, 36. <laughs> I was in as a corner back in the in that team. It stood Ned Cregan. Ned, that's uh, Eamon Cregan's father. No, no not that Ned. Or the Newcastle Ned. Newcastle Ned, yeah. I know Ned. Ned, uh, I suppose his team was up. But if he didn't, his place anywhere as corner right, corner back. Tommy Cathy was full back at the time. Tom went to uh, went to American thirty sixteen. And Tom didn't come back at all. Did he, he, he come back? He did. He was in the 26 team, he was. I think so, anyway. And when Tom went to America, then I fell in. I was in, say, I was in full back. You know, Dr. Jimmy Cat did in the corner. It was scandal. Tom Perry scandal was in the corner. They were great men, Paddy. Yeah, that was great. Peter Crane came on then. Uh, could you tell us about uh, he beat Cork in the 36 months of the final, was it? That was a Tipperary. So Tipperary. Yeah. Yeah, Tipperary. Tip had, uh, tip had some great players at that stage, yeah, wasn't it? Tommy Dale and, 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 Jim, not, and yes, Tommy Dale and Sweet Brian and these fellas that came. Uh, they had uh, who else? You had, what's his name, full by Connelly and all these for us. They were down there, they had a team for Or Denny Garman and all these for us. With Denny Garman was another corner back. And um, centre back, he was, he was a great man too. This is his name, Stateland. We see Stateland, the team. You went. Or John Maher. John Maher and told us. That's right. Yeah, John John played in the Railway Cup team as well, didn't he? He did. He was really a guest man. But uh, tell us a bit about that 36 All Ireland final against Kilkenny. Who were you marking? Well, um, I forgot the Welsh. Uh, and and um, uh, Jim Langton was outside, outside in the car, in the half forward. Welsh team, there was, a, uh, there was another fella. Um, who was your boy? What's his name? Was? Oh, Johnny, what's it? Johnny Dunn was playing that team too, sure. Yeah, but to come back there again to Jim Langton, uh, everybody would tell you that Jim Langton was, was rated as one of the one of the great forwards of all times. Would you rate Jim Langton as a great forward? He was. Oh, he was good. Any of these kids for us were able to, 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 to do with our stuff. If they would get loose at all, we had Jimmy Conn in the ball that time, sure, he was half an Emic Yeah. And um, go back to the, the memory of these teams, you know, it's just a strong team of us. Uh, there, I haven't seen an old player. Yeah, uh, to come back again to that Limerick team, you, 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 said you, you had great players there in Classy, the lot of them, Mick Mackey now, Jackie Power, Paddy Scanlon. What class of a man was, was Mick Mackey before the team would go out in the field? Would he give a, a bit of a speech to the team in the dressing room? He said that he had much to say, like, he didn't say to the team, he was captain the first, the first year, and then Mick Mackey after that, the team was captain 36, I think he was. And Mick Ryan, sure. It was nearly all hand. Uh, Mick Kennedy, of course, he's that all gone. But Timmy Ryan's a baby, of course. Mick Kennedy is, is, is gone. Uh, Scanlon is gone. We had Peter Frigg in it for 36. Um, 
put her face at him. Garrett Howard and Mickey Crash and Cassie half back clean he said that they'd never be My God, they must be one of the greatest half back lanes of all times. And uh, who, who was full back, Paddy? Tom McCarthy was full back in 36. And then Mickey and the went in full back after uh, Tom went to America. And I was full back myself then after Mickey and the you enjoyed uh, travelling around there in the whole league to the winter time, but I suppose you used to have a good old good gallery. We no money. The money was scarce. The money was scarce, etc. And uh, you used to see train hard for the senior matches? Well, the senior matches, there was a train look at it first. Well, we had a good fart, not a bit like, but it uh, wouldn't be the full week, like. Yeah. We hang up and, and the third day. And we'll move on. We'll move on there, Paddy, now to that uh, Railway Cup in 1939. You won, a, you won a Railway Cup in 1939 when when there were some great players around, like, you know, and you must have been rated as a, one of the great cornerbacks at that stage anyway. I put me into it. Believe it or not. Jim Barry. Yeah. Jim, they were looking for a cornerback. They, they didn't want to play the Nigga or something, the troublous man. I don't know what that was in the available, what happened in here, but they were looking for a cardinal back in Jim, Jim Barry, pushed me into it. No, uh, who, who were you marking, Paddy? Can you, can you remember now, in, in the Rebel Cup final? He was uh, <laughs> O'Brien, Shani O'Brien. He was, uh, he was a uh, good kidney full forward, but he was killed kidney full, but with, uh, me, with him and, and that day and anyway, and who else was in the cardinal? I know Jim Langton there would be. Uh, and uh, could you name a few of the, the monster team for us? Very cool. well, Jack, was, uh, Jack Lynch in it? Jack Lynch was in it, he was. I think he was. Uh, he was. Jack was in it. I think that was his first monster team he was in. Jack wasn't hurling up to. very much up to Dean, you know. How would you rate Jack as a hurler? Jack was more Jack of the Hardin Head. Well, especially when he brought into the field. He was a half hurler and he was, he was started on the wing leg. I think he went in as a sub first. Uh, he was on the team too. And uh, who else had we in it? Jack was in the team in 39. He was. He went in as a sub, I think. Uh, who else was in it? Johnny Quirk was in it. He's got for us. Mika, no, Mika wasn't. Uh, who else was in that monster team? No. Oh, you had Mickey, Mickey Cuddley from Tala. He was in the goal. I know Dr. Tom Lucknan, Bill Lucknan's brother, he was full back. And who would never say no? Mm. Yes. I sure the, uh, the old paper there, no one if I only looked at him. No, uh, which makes no difference. Makes no difference, any other. No, it's really ancient the feeling. And, and, and um, Jack Barrett, Jack Barrett, Kinsale, he did too. And uh, you play Rick Foam too, have you? Did you play, you, you play in the county, you won a county medal with him in uh, 41. Could you remember a few of those names in that Trump team? Yes, I don't know if I can do it. Two Peter. And, um, Mick Harden was in it. Bill Griffin was full back. And he was Jack Griffin in the field. Jim Roach, of course. Um, can you in can Sim Cox over here, Rockheel? Can Sim Cox, who else? Martin Butler, he wasn't going to team. He was in it too. That was the Martin that won the All Ireland Journal in 35. Exactly, he was, he brought many of that team, then he got in there, he was predating the nurses around, the techniques and the alleys. The gallery was a terror. Who did he beat Freddie in the final? Uh -huh. By a point, I think. Was it 41 or 42? No, we better twice it. We won anyway. Different team, but one. I have to have it there. It's at the middle there. Um, which was in the team? Oh, Pat Lawler. He'd done that. I won't buy no. Some other Larry Connors. That was him. And Jimmy Connors. Was Mick 16 in it? He was. Mick 16 was in it too. And uh, he was in before too. Mick 16 was in before me there. Mick 16, Pat Lawler. There was a uh, oh, Finton, John Finton here, the fellow who lived down the garage around here, like, uh, 
Yeah. Yeah. He, he, he won a minor All Ireland with Limerick in, the, in 1940. But, uh, He'd be brother Gareth Hood. That was a great team, Paddy. That was a great. Uh, of course, the hand were the, were the top notchers at the time. I think it was the first week of December. I think we were we back. And then nearly back was the same day because they got a free around the 21 yards. And we were winning by the point, you see. And there was a, a hall of water in front of the. the what do you call it? The square. The square. And then it's right side of it, like, and then it's side of it. And Porter was taking the free anyway. No, it would make my kid wouldn't take it, but Porter was taking the free anyway. Just she was going to, to raise it anyway. Some free, I think it was no way safe for some reason. We splashed the water. <laughs> it is wide. <laughs> we won't buy the pint. Well, he was making sure it was after the ocean, but he didn't know we would. Had you any tussle with, uh, with Mick Mackey is that there? No. Well, um, John, I did, John. Nearly when the boat he dragging me and I was alone, it's a fact. But first he didn't do it the second team, he tried the second team. Uh, I was playing, what was I playing that team? I was, I think, was the current back, so I was a center back, so I was a five foot two. No, I paid to a center back. But I said, anyway, and the whole, I heard some of them drove me, kept running, I was going to run here, but I just, I just escaped, the cap and off of my head. John Mackey, John Mackey was reckoned to be tough. Dangerous boy, wouldn't spare anything, but make me feel rough and tumble out. Make us a different man altogether. Tell the whole later, and make you go kicking the backside or something. That's all. I got you. You had you had uh, you had some great years, Paddy, with Limerick, surely. You enjoyed it, of course. We used to be often late, and he come home, called all dances and everything. Sure, we were very happy. We had a, a bit of hurling, of course, with the local club here, with Castletown. You won a few West Championship medals with them. In 1940, what? 40, from 43 on, I played with Castletown, sure. I was here 44 on, yeah. I was played with Claire from there and just tough enough to, you know, to be home for calls and everything the team. But I got, we won, what? We won a good share. We won three even, did we? We won four. Four in the late forties. Forty-six, fifty-one, two and three. Yeah. Forty-six, fifty-one, two and three. Yeah. Yes, we did. Forty-six. I tried to get back to London. Forty-six again. And then played with with Liam Rickett and Jonas Wooden Budfant. We bet Carter. Forty-six. Oh, I never know that. Now did you play that? You come back in and play Jonas for him? I played centre back for for Liam uh, again. Carter both from Budfant. And who was my team? Myself, but Mick Tool. Mick O'Charlie. Mick <laughs> and, went few and I got him by the doors and I pulled a hill in. I got, he got a free in. But that's a, course if he, he could have gone, he'd gone for a goal maybe, like, and I, I pulled him down. He got a free off me. Oh, he, he throws it at me since. Oh, he would, he would. I mean, he would. Yeah, I mean. you, must have made a, you must have made a lot of friends, Paddy, uh, through the Holland. You know, from other counties now. I know that you were a great friend of, uh, of Jack Barrett's. Jack Barrett was right, yes. So Jack would have been the first in charge, really. In fact, I, I shot him uh, half a day when the match started for I shot him a fat heifer. I didn't meet him any more after that. He didn't have any so long day, like, he didn't so long day. We were in the evening, that evening, there was both those people who were bad there. Well, I, 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 I'll, I'll put a question to you now, Paddy. A lot of people, uh, to the same question was put to them, but they didn't answer it. Who would you, who would you rate? The best hurler, Mick Mackey or, or Christy Ring? Which one of the two would you rate the best hurler? Well, Mackey, they were two different men altogether. Mick Mackey was a different man altogether than Christy Ring. Christy Ring, sure, he had no man at all. He, sure, he was on himself, like. And he, he like, Mick Mackey would give and take and, and put up with everything he'd made and all that kind of thing, where he wouldn't have to do that at all. And he sure. It took his milkman to, to, to keep him scoreless. I mean, rather than rather no go there. On behalf of, of, of Michael Griffin and, and myself, I would like indeed most sincerely to thank you for, for, for the, the great interview. And it brought, it brought back, you told us things there about great players that we, we knew nothing about indeed, and it was an education to be listening to you.
Thanks very much, Paddy. Yeah. Before we finish, we have a newspaper here. It's the Limerick Leader, uh, dated September the 12th, 1936. And there was a poem written by a man called Tommy Paul of Effin, after Limerick winning that all Ireland final of 1936. And the poem is entitled, That Boy of the Cattles. And we'll try and recite a verse or two of it if we can. O oh, Paddy O'Connell, the fame that you won, or the name that you made can never be undone. May your shadow grow bigger, your strength never fail. The glory of Eppin, true son of the Gael. Here's a hell to Kilkenny, they're made of good stuff. And I know the old game, but they don't know enough. And they fail to remember Mick Mackey and Jack, or that boy of the cattles from old Bally Mac. Should was known that your rival, the great Matty Power, was a star that would sparkle right through the whole hour. And was no fault of his, he's a huddler, no doubt, if he failed to get past the brave boy from the south. And you fear not the onslaught was a clash. And the hurricane charge you repel like a flash. And the north sider said, he's a hard nut to crack. He's that boy of the cattles from old Barry Mac. He's a hell to the Mackies, to power on the Ryans. Tom McCarthy and Scanlon, and cross on their lines. The classy brothers, McMahon and Howard. And the crew boy, Jim Roach, never yet overpowered. The great Michael Kennedy, fearless and strong. Who clears out the ball with a stroke high and long. And we'll lift up our glasses and drink with a smack. That boy of the cattle's from old Barry Mackie.